One growing danger in America's border crisis surrounds stash houses. Cartel criminals move humans across the border into the U.S., holding them like cattle in poor and dangerous conditions. Southern Texas is one place where the number of stash houses and related crime are spiking with a record number of illegal border crossings. Roma, Texas, Border Patrol gets called about a suspected stash house for human smuggling. When agents arrive, 15 people run out the back, 17 more inside. An hour's drive away in Edinburgh, Texas, 27 illegal immigrants are found stuffed in an apartment. Stash houses are where illegal immigrants are held until the cartels can distribute them across the U.S. 57 in one house, 62 in another. We may find 70, you know, immigrants in, in a one given place. Webb County, Texas Sheriff Martin Quayer. Have you been finding more people packed into stash houses in the past six months or a year? Oh yeah, over a year we've been, we've been getting, you know, a lot of stash houses. And once we, we knock, you know, you may see, you know, one immigrant open the door and then all of a sudden you see just bodies laying everywhere. You know, everywhere that there's a space, they're going to lay. They're going to be sitting down or, or taking a nap or whatever it may be. And some of those, those um, uh, houses don't even have air condition. They don't have electricity. You know, they're just made for, to stash illegals. Who's stashing them and where are they going next? Well, you know, you have to remember where they come from and when they're coming from Mexico, but they're coming from other, other countries, right? But once they come into Mexico, they become property of the cartels. I mean, they're making millions and millions of, uh, of dollars, you know, uh, getting the immigrants across the riverbanks. Uh, at the same time, they're, they're doing drugs, but they're doing a lot with the immigrants because it's a, it's a win-win situation. So the, the people who are in a stash house, are they waiting for a ride to be picked up and distributed somewhere else in the country? Oh yeah, they're, they're waiting. They're waiting for, for uh, the coyote, you know, that we call the coyote, the one that's, that's gonna handle the transportation. And once they do that, they, they get everything arranged and might be in an 18-wheeler, maybe in, in pickup trucks, you know, stolen pickup trucks that sometimes we were not able to seize. But, you know, they, 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 that's what they do, you know. And they do it best because it's, it's a very affluent, um, you know, uh, organization that they, they know what they're doing. 96% of the people that we, that cross through here, the Laredo area, are single adults that uh, uh, some of these folks, you know, end up in, in stash houses. Laredo, Texas Mayor Pete Sines. These stash homes are organized by criminal, you know, through criminal activity, uh, connections to the cartels. We have local gangs that, that basically are in charge here. These stash houses then translate into uh, tractor trailer loads going north, uh, train loads going north, uh, and, and there's uh, criminal activity, there's money, there's drugs. So it's, it's, it's to the point that if, if it's not uh, controlled in the very near future, uh, it can also uh, lead to, to something that, that can be extremely dangerous for us. And I'm, I, as a mayor, I'm very concerned. Uh, this is why I've been asking for resources, Border Patrol, please send resources. You know, we can root this out, but the cause of this, because the border is not secure. We need to secure the border. Uh, you secure the border adequately. You know, you'll eliminate the stash homes. You'll eliminate some of the uh, the asylum seekers. In a period of just a few hours, Border Patrol agents picked up more than 180 illegal immigrants in stash houses in Laredo.